spiders. These eight-legged arachnids strike fear into the hearts of many, and it's not hard to understand why. Whether it's all those legs, all that hair, or perhaps even the risk of a dangerous bite, spiders don't have a hard time freaking people out. If you've followed the channel for long, you know I am one of the select few that can't get enough of spiders. Their variety and adaptations captivate me, and I'm always on the search for the next spider adventure. Why? Because that's who I am. My name is Jack, and I've dedicated my entire life to traveling all over the globe to find the strangest and most dangerous animals alive. I'm willing to get in close where others wouldn't dare in order to uncover and share the truth about even our most feared and misunderstood creatures. Today, I am bringing you into my world. I often get asked on many of my spider videos, Jack, what does it feel like to hold these creepy crawlies? A seemingly simple question, but one that is honestly kind of hard to answer. I'm setting out today, though, to see if I can articulate this feeling. And there's no better place to get up close and personal with spiders than in Australia. So lots of people ask me, Jack, what does holding a spider feel like? And honestly, after the fact, it's a really difficult thing to describe. If you've never had the sensation of one of these spiders walking over you, there's not really a whole lot you can kind of compare to that. But in today's video, that is exactly what I'm going to try and do. I will be holding one of the largest native spiders here in Australia, and I will, I'm going to try to articulate what I'm feeling, the sensations that it brings up, as well as teach you some fantastic things about this wonderful species of spider. So let's get right into it, and let's see if I'm able to articulate in a way that uh, makes any sense whatsoever. Hopefully, I can describe what it feels like to hold a gigantic spider. Huntsman spiders are a perfect species to work with for this video. Their large size and generally active behavior should make for an insightful and describable experience. I'm not too worried about a bite, but these spiders are lightning fast, so I'll have to remain calm and collected if I don't want our arachnid friend to get away. Now, right here, I have a beautiful banded huntsman spider. These are one of the most beautiful and easily one of the largest native spiders here in Australia. And I am hopefully going to be able to handle this lovely little critter without it fleeing or getting away. I'm just going to do a quick check that there's no big cracks or crevasses that this spider could easily slip into and get away from me. Because despite not being aggressive, despite... Uh, being non-dangerous, this is an incredibly fast spider. And so for me to be able to uh, coax it out might take a little bit of poking and prodding, and hopefully we don't lose our little friend here. Ooh, look how fast that is. Look at that, folks. There we go. Hopefully it doesn't try and jump. These spiders are known to jump. Whoa! <laughs> Look at that. Is it going down? It's on my tuchus. After a bit of a, we'll say, buttacular um, escape attempt, we've got this lovely little huntsman just kind of calmly probing around my hands. Now, despite being quite large, these animals really do not weigh much. And so each of these little footprints, I feel individual tiny little taps on my hands. Much like feeling like somebody's just kind of lightly tapping your skin with, uh, you know, maybe like a, a light little Q-tip or something like that. And it feels very strange because you really can only feel the weight of these spiders as they kind of move. Once it's sitting still, there's very little that I can personally feel. But take a look at that. Once again, these are beautiful, beautiful, beautiful spiders. Very large, very fast, very active animals. And they're using that incredible speed and agility to hunt their prey. 
Typically, these huntsman spiders are primarily nocturnal. So oftentimes you can see them kind of crawling on trees or underneath bark as they search for prey. As you can see, not an aggressive animal either. This is an animal that just seemingly feels fairly confused about having to crawl over a very, very unusual terrain. It's unlikely that this spider's ever even touched a human being before. Uh, we captured this spider just in this area at nighttime as it came out to feed. And we wanted to show you all how interesting it is to hold one. Again, seems to be a favorite location. It's not slimy or uncomfortable to hold spiders. In fact, some species you can barely feel as they walk over you. It might surprise you to know, spiders actually can have soft pads on their feet in many species, making the experience that much better. Other species more adapted to walking in webs don't generally have these adaptations though. The spider world is a big place, and although most spiders are easily handleable, it's best to leave them be if you're uncertain what species they are. Now, although these spiders, these huntsman spiders, are in fact venomous, their venom is not dangerous to humans. A bite from this lovely little creature here would likely be no more than a mild bee sting. Although they are in fact capable of biting, as you can see, this animal is not aggressive in the slightest, has no interest in biting me for no reason. These animals will really only bite out of necessity. They will only bite if they absolutely feel that they have no other option. And that's why I'm able to safely handle this animal and show you all lovely people at home just how spectacular these little creatures are. But uh, spiders are equipped with tiny little claws at the end of each foot, as well as kind of these soft little pads that help to cushion uh, their little feet. And so when you feel them walk on you, it's not terribly rough. It's more like just soft little patters of tiny, tiny little feet that you feel as they just kind of gently walk over you. If you're enjoying this video, check out this one here where I go out to find the deadliest spiders on earth. From Australia to South America, we find some of the most dangerous spiders the planet has to offer to uncover the mysteries that surround them. Click the video card here or check the video description below for the link to this video. You won't want to miss this one. They don't really feel gross to hold. They don't really feel yucky to handle. It just feels like tiny little, tiny little footsteps as they kind of curiously probe around. Despite having handled hundreds of spiders in my life, describing the sensation is a lot more difficult than I was expecting. Although similar to handling other small animals, spiders are fairly novel and unique. Their light footsteps, the hydraulic and robotic movements, and their characteristic behaviors makes them fairly hard to describe. I will say though, however you think it feels to hold a spider is probably right. I've never handled one and been surprised by the sensation. If anything, you feel it even less than you're expecting. Unless, of course, it's a large and heavy tarantula. Now, something interesting that this spider is doing as it walks is it's laying this kind of anchor web, which I can feel around my fingers. And that's because many spiders, such as these huntsmen that are active hunters, they will actually lay little anchor webs. So if they jump for prey or if they miscalculate a, a quick maneuver or, or, or leap, they won't come crashing down to the ground. They can safely kind of suspend themselves on that lovely little anchor web which is just super, super cool. These are such spectacular little spiders and one that I was really hoping to see while here in Australia. Although huntsman spiders are harmless to humans, it's a different story when it comes to other small animals. These large spiders use size and speed to overtake and overpower a wide array of prey. They'll eat anything small enough to take down, and although their venom is mild to us, it's more than enough to kill smaller animals. Despite an active hunting strategy though, these spiders are not aggressive in the slightest and are quick to flee at the first sign of danger, rather than standing their ground to fight. 
Well, my friends, we've had a fantastic time getting up close and personal with this wonderful little banded huntsman. It's about time for us to release this beautiful, beautiful girl here back into her native environment. But I hope I was able to convey some of the interesting sensations that go into handling these lovely spiders, as well as some fantastic information about huntsman spiders in general. But my friends, that's really all the time I've got for you today. So I hope you had fun watching this video. I hope you had fun learning about the fantastic little banded huntsman right here. This is one of our top targets for the lovely, lovely country of Australia. These are such big charismatic arachnids and they were a species that we were really, really hoping to see. But check that out. One last look at this fantastic, fantastic, fantastic animal. These are so unbelievably cool, such beautiful little spiders and not a species to be fearful of. But my friends, I hope you learned something. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope that uh, maybe I answered a few questions about what it feels like to handle spiders. I've handled quite a few spiders over the years and every single time somebody asks me, I'm always like, I, I, I don't know if I can fully articulate that. I don't even know if I fully articulated it today. It is just a fairly unique sensation to have all eight of those legs just kind of daintily tapping across the surface of your skin. Just so unbelievably cool. So my friends, that's all the time I've got for you today. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope to see you next week with the next upload. But until then, please take care of yourselves and I hope to see you next time.